So we know that in the world of PCs, design and engineering are closely interrelated. Form and function require both designers and engineers to work closely together to meet the goals of our products. So tell us about this, uh, this new type of ThinkPad. In the past, it was compute performance mm -hmm. and you know how fast you can finish a task and earlier and then also more memories and more storage size and then evolve to be a collaborative device, collaboration device to have a better video conferencing mm -hmm. you know, experience, especially accelerated during right. the COVID. And then now evolving to the AI device mm -hmm. finally. And but you know the ThinkPad X9 is kind of unique design to appeal to the new type of customers. A lot of new innovation and engineering in this product. Uh, but in general, tell me a little bit about the problems we were trying to solve. What were we trying to do? Yep. So in order to ensure the productivity experience, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. the first things we always do mm -hmm. is to understand the customer needs and the experience they need. Then figure out the technology to address those customer requirements that we did mm -hmm. for the ThinkBotics line. So tell me a little bit about what our biggest challenges were and how we solved these problems. Yeah, so uh, considering the customer requirement, mm -hmm. you know, there are two key scenarios. One is compute yeah. power performance as a productivity and the other is a corrosion devices. Right. So I believe the productivity means the performance and uh, you know, power consumption, mm -hmm. including not only battery life, but also mm -hmm. energy efficiency mm -hmm. from ESG perspective, right. and then thermal mm -hmm. to be uh, cool and quiet. Right. Right. So uh, the key is how we can you know, achieve the perfect balance mm -hmm. you know, for the, to cool down the multiple heat sources, mm -hmm. and also we need to address those for the various user scenarios right. in a, you know, as a system design. You know, innovation. And you said we moved everything all into one space. Yeah. What, why did we do that? We need to, you know, optimize system design mm -hmm. to balance, uh, you know, the thermal and uh, the signal design. Mm -hmm. So, um, airflow is very, very important. So, um, new thermal concept actually leveraging this uh, mm -hmm. uh, engine hub design. So, we actually leverage this shape. Okay. Uh, you know, using the, this uh, front step of the engine half uh -huh. to as an air intake. Uh, okay. Air is coming in, and then guide the all the air mm -hmm. over the you know heat component towards the you know outlet at the rear side. So airflow is coming right, you know, yeah. from the front and through the engine half, and then going out. So a, the a, actually, kind of a bi-directional yep. airflow, not yeah, exactly. just through the fans through the fans, but also through the middle and out. Yeah. So next up, I know you wanted to talk about the innovations and the engineering we did with the uh, audio and the speakers. Uh, again, yeah. in auto space limitation yeah. in uh, X9 form factor, but uh, you know that the engineer came up with a very innovative solution mm -hmm. to maximize the speaker volume as much as possible mm -hmm. in the limited space. And uh, they actually developed the in-house, Lenovo in-house speaker transducer, mm -hmm. you know, with a three magnet to right. maximize the you know, speaker volume and the, with the richer bass sound. Mm -hmm. And they also invented the frequent loop, you know, adhesive, right, mm -hmm. to, to attach the speaker onto the system chassis to eliminate the screws because screw Take takes space. space. Right, right. But then now eliminating the screw, then uh, you know, engineer could maximize the speaker size as much as possible. But actually, the Fukun loop you know, structure yeah. can absorb the vibration, oh. so it works as a shock absorber as well. And makes it more repairable. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. absolutely. And finally, I know we had a lot of engineering that went into the camera and the visual experience. Camera has another breakthrough yeah. technology, the engineer made it. The, this, uh, you know, the X9 camera is the industry first. Mm -hmm. The high pixel and a higher resolution image sensor from a mobile industry. Oh, wow. Yep. But it's not easy to yeah. use the mobile <laughs> phone, you know, image sensor in the PC form factor. Very thin. Very thin. 
So it's, it's very challenging. So uh, the engineer also uh, developed the Lenovo custom lens mm -hmm. uh, with the Lenovo patented miniaturization technology mm -hmm. to fit into this uh, Cine form factor mm -hmm. and in conjunction with the, you know, our iconic uh, communication bar in right, you know, right. the design. So fitting all that in, making sure everything was properly aligned and getting the experience right, I think took them a long time. Yep, exactly. So obviously a lot of engineering went into this, but at the end of the day, why do we think it actually matters that we do this? Yeah, so everything about productivity innovation and the user experience for customer success, but uh, you know, they also um, come with the Aura mm -hmm. features. Right. right. And actually Aura experience are developed based on the human-centered innovation process. Right. So I'm confident that uh, X9 will uh, you know, attract the new type of customers and then the customers will be satisfied with Sigma X9. Yeah. We did the research to understand what it is that people actually expect from their PCs and then your team engineered that. Yep, exactly. <laughs>